everyone and welcome to this Wikipedia. In this video I'm going to be tearing down some of the Dyson vacuum cleaner heads from the cordless stick vac series. I have also done a full tear down video of the V6 vacuum cleaner which you can have a look at. I'll put a link up above. So let's get these open and clean them out. All right so I'll start off with this one but I will put some notes in the video uh, if you want to jump ahead to where I pull apart the other ones. Uh, but we'll start with probably sort of the most basic one. Um, tools you'll need, a large flathead screwdriver or even just a coin, um, just so we can twist this open and you can pull that straight out. The other part we can remove is, is back here. Once again, twist that tab open. That'll lift up. Now that's sort of the easy part and you can clean them down and obviously get any hair or fluff out of these kind of things. I don't recommend submerging any of this in water because anything where there's screws or, or exposed metal or anything like that um, will rust if you try and leave it in water for too long. Um, but we can pull this out and give it more of a clean because a lot of dirt does get stuck back here as well, which is hard to get to when you've still got all this case on. So you'll need a Torx T8 driver and there's about five or six Torx screws that need to come out. So the two longer screws come from here and here. This little part can come out. It's um, basically this wheel that's sitting on a spring mechanism. So um, yeah, don't get that in water because you'll end up rusting the spring. Um, but you can just sort of wipe it out with some soapy water. And then you can sort of clean out these sort of bits in here which even though I've already pulled this apart, it appears I've done a terrible job of actually cleaning it out. So it's kind of good that I've taken it apart again. So you'll find some dust in it and there. Be wary there's some wires in here uh, that run the motor that's actually inside this head. All these heads have their own motor inside them. Um, so be wary of them. That's why we don't want to get them wet or anything like that. So once you've got all the screws out, you can also separate this piece from the body. And then you can clean out in here. There's the motor, so um, yeah, be wary of that. Um, obviously it's not gonna do anything, but you don't wanna get that wet. You can clean out this sort of stuff and this part here. So this piece, this, this, and this are probably safe to wash in water and get submerged as long as you make sure they're thoroughly dry before you put it back together. And yeah, do not wash these in any sort of water. Just a wipe out with a cloth will be enough. Let's do this one. So again, you'll need the large flathead screwdriver just to release this. And as you can see, there's an arrow on the side. So you just push this part towards that arrow and then you can remove that, clean it out. I wouldn't submerge that, just a, a wipe down with a damp cloth. This can come out. You probably can submerge it. Um, just make sure it's really dry before you put it back together. Otherwise it's going to stink. Uh, and then we've got, there's four torque screws along here that will need to come out. 
so this is a T8 screwdriver. Yes, you can also remove this as well. Wash that. Now you'll see just here there's another Torx bit that needs to come out as well. Which is quite short. Once you've got that off you can remove this side cover. Remove this screw. another short one and then you can pull this part out and that'll be give you access to all this so you can really clean all that out um, yeah just watch these wires because they connect to the motor that's inside this part so don't submerge any of this um, just a, a rinse out will do you can also go even further there's two more Torx bits here Probably not necessary to go this far, but I'll show you anyway. I'm just going to get a better screwdriver because the other one I'm using is pretty rubbish. And you can separate those two bits and clean out inside. Um, as you can see, there's some hair and crap stuck in there, so it's always worth cleaning that out. And yeah, with all this stuff, always make sure that it's completely dry before you put it back together. This head. Again, big Phillips head, uh, flathead screwdriver, just to remove that, or a coin. That'll pull out. You can also remove these screws, um, but because of the way this one's put together, the, the wiring for the motor um, quickly gets in the way. So I don't recommend pulling this one apart any further than this, to be honest, um, oh, apart from this back bit as well, of course. So you can clean all that out, but I wouldn't remove these screws because it is painful to get back together. And if you break one of the wires, um, you better make sure you're handy with a soldering iron. As always, don't go submerging this in water. You're just going to wipe it out with a damp cloth if need be. And finally, we have the little guy. Now, there's some torque screws on the side that can come out, and there's also this locking mechanism here. Again, flathead screwdriver. Twist and pull. You can clean that up. And yeah, you can also remove this part. I think it only houses the motor, so there shouldn't be really be any reason to remove it, but I'll show you what's inside. Maybe if the motor stops working, um, you might need to replace the belt that's inside or, or check the motor itself, but there's not much going on in there. So you shouldn't really need to open that up if you're just cleaning it out. All right, that's it. Hopefully now you've got a nice, clean, non-smelling vacuum head. Um, like I said, make sure all these are fully dry before you put them back together and start using them. So if this has helped you out, um, you can throw me a couple of bucks by PayPal or buy me a coffee on Ko-Fi. You can also subscribe to the channel, leave me a like, thumbs up, dislike, thumbs down. Leave me a comment with any tips or suggestions. And if you're interested in this stuff behind me, you can also check out my other channel, the Retro channel, um, where I modify, refurbish, and repair all these different consoles and computers. Um, 
apart from that, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.